Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? So welcome to um, the first round or the first time that I'm doing this on my channel. It's something brand new. We have the cusp reading, yeah? This reading is for Aries Taurus Cuspers. I did your reading previously um, and I uploaded it and everything, but for some reason there was some sort of glitch with the video, so it, it wasn't processing. So I was like, whatever, I'll just, I'll just do it over. So this is your second round here. I'm kind of disappointed, kind of bummed because it was a really good message that was coming through, but whatever, we'll see what comes through with this, yeah? So if you're new to the channel, then um, this is fairly new to you, so don't worry about anything else that I'm about to say here. But if you are returning from the ch to the channel, um, this is going to be a little bit new. This is falling along the lines of the ah, of um, the readings that I did for March. Okay, so it's oracle based, and then I'll be using the tarot to clarify some things. But the difference now between this reading and the other readings in March, other than the fact that it's for cuspers. Um, this is actually going to be a reading that doesn't involve love. I'm just, just for these cusp readings right now, especially since this is so new, I'm not doing love in this one. I'm just doing general messages for you guys, okay? If this is popular, if you guys really like it, if you guys really want me to do love for the cuspers, then I will do that. You just got to let me know. But we're just going to get through this first round and see how this works out, yeah? So... Oh, keep in mind, time is an illusion. Energies are fluid. So yes, this is dated for the month of March, but it doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you were guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you at that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a gentle, gen I was going to say general, general reading. Yeah. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And also cross watchers, you are very welcome here. Keep in mind that this, I am speaking to the Aries Taurus Cusper, but if the situation resonates for you, but I'm talking to the Aries Taurus Cusper, then that's the message for you in terms of maybe if you're cross watching for someone. Yeah. All right, sweet. Let's get to it. Oh, also, wait, sorry guys. One last thing. Um, Let's see. So the Aries Taurus cusp. So you would fall in this category if you were born between April 16th and the 22nd. Yeah. Excellent. OK, now let's get started. <laughs> Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aries Taurus cuspers at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of March 2020. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, guys, let's get started. So I'm going to start with the Energy Oracle deck. And I'm going to give this five shuffles here. And then we'll see what comes out for you guys this time. Yeah? All right. For my Aries Taurus Cuspers. For the month of 20, March 2020. This is number three. Aries Taurus Cusp. All right, and five. Last shuffle here for you guys. All righty, kids. So let's see what we've got in your storyline. Yeah, here, here, yeah. <laughs> here we go. Aries Taurus Cuspers. What's going on for my Aries Taurus? Ooh, okay. Well, Hostilities is the first card out, and that's kind of keeping in line with what we were talking about before. Um, in the last reading that I did for you guys, uh, for the cuspers here, the main message was about um, appreciation. And I had titled that reading, uh, Walking Towards Appreciation. There was an energy of leaving behind anything that does not provide you with the appreciation that you know you deserve or that you know that you're worthy of. And I feel like this could have been very much associated with like a work a, or a business opportunity. Um, it could be love too, but we weren't specifically looking into love. This is just a general overall message. And the first card out here is hostilities for you. Um, so it kind of makes sense. It kind of falls in line with that, but let's see what else comes out here. For my Aries Taurus, Taurus Cuspers for the month of March, 2020 and beyond. <clears throat> okay, 
let's see here. Okay. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. All right. Let's tip two more cards, please, Spirit. Just two more cards here for my Aries Taurus Cuspers. There they are. Oh, wow. There they are. <laughs> Holy moly. Overall energy is the sacral, or I'm sorry, the, yes, the sacral chakra, but the second chakra, Archangel Ariel, okay? And what this is giving to me, this the message that it's giving me here is um, there is definitely an energy of getting into your feeling body, getting in touch with your emotions, finding what is right for you. And look what we have here. Appreciation came right back out, all right? So whatever this is for you, <clears throat> Um, it's appreciation based and that's where your sacral chakra or your second chakra comes into play because you have to be connected to your feelings, connected to your emotions to really understand what it is that you want or need, what it is that y in ways that you may not be appreciated, right? Um, you also have the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael here with you, okay? So you have, so <clears throat> I, I definitely kind of want to say that this is a little bit of a, a, like a heart chakra awakening. And for some of you, it's your, it's directly connected to your sacral chakra, or at least the health of your sacral chakra. Because I feel like there are some of you out here that are really starting to get connected with your feelings, with your emotions, or at least how you truly feel about something, okay? Which is then activating your heart chakra or is activating things that are causing you to want to express or live yourself or live your life or take action from a place of your heart chakra here, okay? Um, and whatever action this is that you could be taking here, it's going to lead to victory and blossoming abundance. And that absolutely falls in line with what we were talking about in the first time I did your reading here. But that is directly connected to you taking action in terms of what your heart is calling for, okay? Now, hostilities is here. We'll look into this. Every time this card comes out, and this card has been coming out a lot in all the different collective and private readings that I've been doing, okay? But what I'm feeling for this for you guys is that you're going to be taking some action in terms of finding greater appreciation and following your heart. And that's gonna generate some sort of hostility here for you because the people or the situations that you're disconnecting from that are not appreciative of you are probably number one, because they're not appreciative, that kind of fall, pushes them into a category of hostility, right? But then I kind of feel like there's gonna be more or added aggression or hostility that's going to come up into play because you're going to be taking action and doing something that serves your highest good with your heart chakra here, serves the facilitation of appreciation for you and it's gonna, I mean, it's going to bring victory and blossoming abundance to you for two reasons. One, victory is here because if you do follow through with what your heart is calling for, that in and of itself is a victory, regardless of whatever comes after that, right? But now there's also a victory here in terms of blossoming abundance for you because you'll be removing yourself separating yourself or removing things from your life that are taking up the space that could really bring you this blossoming abundance. I really do feel like this is business oriented for some of you. Like you could be working at a job right now in which you are greatly underappreciated and it's keeping you or blocking you from doing things that number one, resonate with who you truly are, find you, that bring you fulfillment, but number two, doing things that could bring you that abundance whether and that abundance doesn't just have to be financial or material that abundance is love happiness um uh, appreciation i mean like that abundance can really be anything it doesn't just have to be materially okay so because you have these two angels here i've kind of started to do this thing where i go with the angel oracle deck just to get some messages that the angels have for you, some other or, ah, direct guidance is what they're saying, yeah? Woo. So let's look into this. Let's see what the angels, what direct guidance the angels have for my Aries Taurus Cuspers. Now keep in mind, guys, this can be, this is a general reading, this is a general message, okay? So this could be business and career and finances. This also could be love. Keep that in mind, but this is just not a specific love reading, okay? So what, what messages do the angels have for you? What direct guidance, Archangel Ariel and Archangel Raphael, what do they have for you here? And all the other archangels, because they're not the only ones, the only two that are helping support you here. 
strength. Strength is the very first card to come out here. So you guys really need to have the strength to stand up for yourselves, to do what is right for yourselves. Yeah, let's get two more cards, please. For my Aries Taurus Cuspers. Okay, one last card, please. There it is, right there. All right. Overall, wow, overall energy is truth. Now, you do need to have the strength to stand up for yourself and tell the truth. Stand up for your truth. What is your truth? What would make you happier? What would help you feel appreciated? Right? You got to have the strength to stand up for that. You have, you have learning here, card number 23, which does boil down to a five. Okay? So that's change. But learning. I, I feel like, especially if this, well, it doesn't really matter. But for some reason, I'm really picking up on a business situation here for some of you. And regardless of what it is for you, ob obviously you have had the, the chance to learn, to learn a great deal, to learn about what appreciation really does mean for yourself and how to go about receiving that appreciation. Yeah, there have definitely been some major lessons here. And then you have card number 25, the eternal light of love. I feel I, I kind of want to read about that book, uh, about that book, about that card in the book. Um, but what I'm getting from this intuitively is that you are showered in the light of love. I mean, love is eternal. Love is really the only thing that truly exists. Love is what brings everything together. Love is what creates everything that we see with our senses and everything that we don't or can't see with our senses. Love is the foundation of everything. And I get that regardless of what it is you're going through, if you're feeling apprehensive, if you're feeling scared about the transitions that are going on or the, the truth you're about to share, or maybe the truth that you're about to, to, to admit to yourself, okay, you are supported and divinely guided by love, right? But I do want to read this card. It's card number 25, which is, boils down to a seven, which is seven is wisdom and spirituality and luck, okay? But here, the eternal light of love permeates everything in existence and fills every atom of our being. This means light and love are always present in every situation, regardless of whether we can perceive it or not. There is love and even hidden and even a hidden blessing, blessing, excuse me, within the current situation. Trust. All that is occurring is for your highest good. Look beyond the surface and appearance of things. And that is exactly exactly what I was just saying and exactly what I'm picking up on, especially with this strength card, card here, you are really being guided to trust in this situation, trust in the circumstances and have the strength to move full. Ouch. Oh, that was a mosquito bite that I just, <laughs> sorry guys. Um, that uh, trust in spirit and trust in the situation because yes, you have learned a great deal here. You have the, op you have the opportunity to really gain some great insight into your life. Um, and I feel like you've done that already. All right. Okay. What I want to look into now, I want to get into the Tarot. And I want to talk about this Hostilities card. Give this two more shuffles. For my Aries Taurus Cuspers, what, what is this Hostility here? What guidance, what illumination can we bring to you guys in terms of that? There we go. Okie dokie. Let's see. What is hostilities here? For my Aries Taurus Cuspers. Okay. Yeah, this is, wow. You guys, sometimes I really, <laughs> I really scare myself sometimes with the accuracy of what I'm picking up on here because then the cards just... Uh, reflect it. They, they corroborate it. But at the bottom of the deck, you have the eight of pentacles. And with that, I feel like, yes, especially with this learning card here, you've learned a great deal. And this actually could be something you've been working on for quite some time. Yeah. Cause underneath that is the moon. So that was hidden with the empress underneath that. Yeah. The nine of wands. There you go. You've really been working on this. You've really been working on this with the king of pentacles underneath all of that. So I, I just get this sense that a lot of you have up until this point been working on redefining yourselves, understanding yourselves, getting really grounded and rooted in who you truly are and what it is you truly stand for, and then honoring that, committing to that. Or, and if you're not 
there yet, you have the opportunity to, to, to get there, okay? Wow, this is a lot. So we have the seven of cups, the six of pentacles with justice. And when justice came out, I, that told me exactly what I was saying earlier. Justice is being served by you walking away from something, eight of cups. And that's going to definitely create some sort of hostility. It's, uh, it, it's inevitable, especially if you're dealing with some people that are really negative or low in vibration or really toxic. Misery loves company, y'all. So the moment you stop feeding that monster, they're gonna th throw a fit. I mean, there's no other way of saying it. Oh, wow. You have the Knight of Swords and you have the Queen of Pentacles. So you had the King and the Queen of Pentacles show up in this reading here. But the Queen of Pentacles came out officially because with this Knight of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles represents an energy of knowing exactly what you're worth, 555. Five, five. Knowing exactly what you are worthy of and what you are worth and not taking anything less than that. And not taking any shit from anybody and also not taking anything less than you know someone else is capable for, or I'm sorry, capable of. And so this could really be a work situation in which you're underappreciated and you're undervalued, yet you're, you're carrying the weight of many people on your team if you have a big team or you have, maybe you have someone that's just kind of like dumping their load on you when it's not necessary. They could be doing their own damn work. Why should you have to pick up the slack for them? Why should you have to cover for them? That kind of energy, right? So with this Knight of Swords here and the Eight of Cups, there's a very aggressive ending to this situation finally coming out of the, the darkness and shining your light and speaking your truth and, and, and stating the fact that you know that you're worthy of more and you're not going to take any more of the bullshit. And thus you walk away. Seven of Cups with the Six of Pentacles and Justice is talking about the illusion around surrounding your situation. I feel like some of you may have been getting gaslit um, in the fact that you give and give and give and then when you don't receive what you know you're worthy of, you mention it, maybe not in the, in the Knight of Swords energy because, or, or way because that's really aggressive, but you mention it and then, and then the smoke and mirrors comes. What, what are you talking about? That's not even close to it or I'm just really busy or blah, blah, blah. You know, you know we appreciate you. You know I love you, but bullshit. And thus justice is coming into play here by you standing your ground, by you having the strength to stand up for yourself, by you having the strength to utilize what it is you've learned over the process of this situation, okay? Let's close out this reading here with some, just some guidance from the Moonology Oracle. Final closing message for my Aries Taurus Cuspers here. Final closing message, please spirit. One last shuffle. You know, it's so crazy. I could probably name this, title this the same thing that I titled the last one. You know what I mean? That's kind of awesome. All right. Aries Taurus Cuspers. Closing message for my Aries Taurus Cuspers. Please, spirit. Thank you so much. No. Spirit has been dumping massive amounts of cards on me lately. And it's like, you know what, y'all? I'm going to need you to chill. <laughs> All right, guys. Closing message. Closing message, please, spirit. Ooh, we're going to leave it there. Overall energy is the new moon in Pisces. Meditate and contemplate. Very good. Very necessary also, especially if you, like I'm hearing, in order to plan your next steps. Yes? Meditate, contemplate. Also though, meditation is going to be very good in helping you keep your emotions in check. Because especially since you are in a place of power, I wanna, kinda wanna say you're in the pole position right now because I mean, you're the master of your own domain. You're standing up for yourself. You're standing up for your life, all right? So you are in essence taking the higher road here. You do not wanna allow yourself to slip down and, and, and slip down into lower vibrational energies and start reacting in some similar ways or maybe even the same way that these people that are trying to hold you down or keep you down or the situation is trying to keep you down may react, right? You don't wanna to stoop to that level. You wanna make sure that you stay in the highest vibe as physically, humanly possible or at least for your own self, right? Last two cards here you have full moon, surrender to the divine. 
And the divine is really guiding you here, is really helping you understand what this is going, where, where this is going. So in, re in relation to card number 25, the eternal love of light, you are, re or, I'm sorry, the eternal light of love, you are really being asked to trust in the process, to trust that you will be safe, that you are protected. Finally, you have full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. Specifically, I'm picking up that for some of you here, you have been letting pride get in your way by not removing yourself from this or releasing yourself from this situation. That is not showing you the appreciation that you want, need, and or deserve. So it's time to put that pride and that ego to, to rest or get it back in the back seat where it kind of really belongs. I mean, sure, it can, uh, no, nah, you know, it can sit in the co-pilot seat. But if it's really a nuisance, it gets the back seat, right? And if it's really a nuisance, we're turning this damn car around. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So don't let your pride get in the way, all right? Allow yourself to release yourself from this situation. Allow yourself to trust, to trust and surrender to the divine because you will be protected throughout this transition. All right, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I love you guys so much, and I hope you have a fantastic month. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.